Okay, to, to make this blind, we need uh, we need following uh, components: the header box, wall interface, handlebar, 23 millimeter side channel. And 35 millimeter uh, and 35 millimeter side channel. Spring. And PSRL kit. And now the, the first step to make the blind is to put attention on the um, to put the tension on it and this is very important the spring always goes on the left hand side of the blind which is the further end by there but because I'm right-handed it's much easier for me to just to turn the blind around and insert the spring on this side here it will be much easier for myself to put the turns on the on the spring. Okay, so I'm putting the uh, the spring into the uh, into the tube, and then to determine the amount of run, uh, the amount of turns that we need to put on the spring in order to to tension the blind, it's very easy to find out. What we need to take into consideration is the uh, enter width and on, for this blind enter width is 1590 which tells us that we'll need to put 16 turns on the spring here because every 100 millimeters is one turn but I think 16 turns will be slightly too much for this blind. And basically how it works is always the enter width, one turn per uh, 100 millimeters, and then in the end you take three turns uh, away from it. So with this, with, this, with this blind, in this case, I will need to put 13 turns on it. And very important thing is that you tension the blind by turning the spring clockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, and now the whole thing goes into the head, into the. Um, uh, into the box here and the spring uh, the plastic end of the spring has three three plastic uh, pins on it and they they go into the holes on the header box here okay, here's one two and there's one on the bottom here as well So this end of the blind is done. Now I'm going to turn the whole blind around. I'm going to put the idle end of this uh, uh, on this on this end. And the idle end is the uh, is in this bag. You remember PSRL kit. The bag contains all the plastic bits and bobs that we will need to put the whole blind together. And the idle end comes uh, in three parts. The plastic uh, 
the plastic idle lamp here and then a little gold collar or ring and a plastic collar and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the uh, gold ring on the, on the audio and first and then the plastic collar over it and now I can insert it put it into the um, into the tube and again it's the same principle as with the uh, spring end the idle end has uh, has three plastic uh, pins on it and they go into the holes on the on the header box Okay, now, the next step is to replace the uh, brass strip that is on the bottom bar here with a magnetic strip. Because PSRL system works uh, sideways. So we're gonna we're gonna have a magnetic strip on the bottom bar, and on the other side of the, of the window, we'll have the uh, wall interface. And when the when the blind is opened, those two magnets hold together and keep the uh, keep the blind uh, uh, closed. Okay, so let me get the uh, magnetic strip, and it goes into the groove into the groove on the bottom bar here, just like that. Okay, let's double check now if the if there's enough tension on it, if it work, if it works nice and smoothly. Yeah, this one is alright. Now the next step is to fix a handle at the back of the bottom bar it has to be fixed on the smack on in the middle of the bottom bar so using the, uh, the paperwork I'm gonna check the uh, header cut measurement which is 1573 and now by dividing by two I know where the where the exact middle of the blind is and I'm gonna mark it in the, on the bottom bar here at the back of the bottom bar so 1573 divided by 2 is 786 and a half millimeters and I'm gonna mark it on the on the bottom bar here 786.5 okay and now I'm going to assemble the uh, the handle. It comes in two parts. That you just basically put it together like that. It's very very simple. And then put it right in the middle, and it's got two holes in it. 
and drill through it through the bottom bar. And to fix that onto the uh, bottom bar, I'm gonna use uh, those two little black screws, which come uh, in the uh, in the in the in the in the bag with the rest of the stuff for the blind. It's a, it's a, the screws are part of the uh, PSR PSRL kit. And then part of the uh, of the car uh, handle uh, kit is, are also those two little white covers. They go over the, uh, the screws here just to cover it, just to make it look uh, nicer. Okay, now the next step is to put the um, bottom bar end caps on the right hand side. Okay, uh, one more thing I, I forgot to mention uh, before. As I as I said before, the blind this this type of blind PSRV uh, PSRL sorry. Uh, it works uh, sideways. The header box is fixed onto one side of the of the of the window, and the uh, wall is facing the other side. And it opens. Uh, it works side sideways, right? And when I when I put the um, oh this this side. How how can I put it? The side where the header box is on the window is, is basically specified in uh, on the paperwork uh, in special instructions. When there's nothing there, it means that the uh, header box has to be on the left hand side because this is the uh, standard standard option. When there's nothing on the paperwork saying what side. Uh, what side they want the header box on, it means that it, it is on the left hand side because this is the standard side of the header box. And if it's if it's the le left hand side, you could imagine it it opens from that side to the right hand side. So we've got we've got the header box on the left hand side and it opens towards the left uh, the right hand side. And The reason I, I, I mentioned that is, is that the side where the header box is determines uh, the type of uh, the type of uh, end caps that we're putting on the on the bottom bar. Right? If it's a left hand side operated one, just uh, put just the no normal plain end cap on the right hand side but then on the other on the other side of the of the of, of the bottom bar you're gonna have to assemble a special end cap and what I'm gonna need to assemble this end cap is the end cap itself, a little wheel with a little wheel, this one here, this bolt, 
and uh, not here. And to put it all together, there's like a little hole to fit that wheel onto. And then put the bolt from underneath through, through the wheel. And put a nut on top of it. And then it goes on the on the bottom bar. It's basically slots into the uh, groove on the bottom bar here. And the next step of making this blind, I'm going to put the uh, handlebar into into the groove, into the groove uh, in the bottom bar. It's the same. It's the same groove that I put the uh, end cups uh, into. This one here, and the problem is that it's really hard to do it because the handlebars seems to be slightly too big to be put into that into that groove, and to make it easier for ourselves, there's a there's a solution to, to that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to squash, squash the, the handlebar with the hammer, just, just a little bit. And now it should be much easier to put that into, into that groove. Basically, it's just got to be forced into it. Okay, and the next step is to put the um, bottom bar and cups covers on it. And uh, it says on them uh, underneath, down and up. I know. Probably won't be able to see it in the, in the video. It says down here and up on the other one here. And basically, what it is, the the, the end cap with the with the little wheel on it is the bottom one. The other one, obviously, is the is the top one so you put the one that says up on it on the right hand side of the blind and the one that says down and on the other side of it where the where the wheel is and basically our blind is done now. And now the whole the whole blind is ready to be packed. 
one more thing. The uh, the kit, that little bag with plastic bits that I told you about at the beginning, con contains a lot of things. Most of them I've just used to, to, to make the blind, but there's a few things that uh, I've got here left over. All of the stuff that you've got left over needs to be supplied with the blind. You will have white brackets left, side channel holders with two little black screws. Top bracket, and wall plugs with the screws. All of it needs to be packed together with the blind and sand. That's it pretty much. I hope it helps. <laughs>